there's no point in me spending all of this time drawing and doing the print so intricately if it's then printed poorly or edged poorly or um, the fabrics aren't of a great quality. So I feel like the manufacturer is like on a level with the design work and neither can slip or the product becomes less, basically. And Rachel, you, um, in terms of your, w when you're sort of looking at your, um, your commission or you're looking to design the next set of hats, I mean, do you ever, um, do you ever look at foregoing design in favour of, you know, maybe making something that's maybe um, more robust in favour of it looking? Um, well, it depends what things are for, what, what the hat's for, I suppose. And obviously, a lot of the work I do is bespoke, maybe for a wedding or ascot, something like that. Sometimes you're making an everyday hat for walking the dog or something. Yeah, that's yeah. entirely different. Um, and you've got to understand, you know, you've got to think about where it's going to the client, their, their, um, the character of, of what they might want, how that reflects their personality. And it's all about balance when you're um, for, for millinery. And of course, the, the craftsmanship, the finish is the most important thing to me, really. But you've got to get that right for the person, for the individual. Do you sometimes feel, because you work with Stuart, don't you? Yeah. And do you sometimes feel that you can add sometimes a bit of a flourish to some of um, Stuart's pieces? And, well, I uh, think it, it's, a, it's a question, you know, a hat is a very specific thing. And sometimes you've got this incredible, of course, they're always incredible dresses, but you've got this incredible <laughs> dress, you know, and it might have a beautiful print on it. And it just doesn't require something, you know, too much in a hat. And even though, you know, the hat's the sort of finishing item, you're looking at somebody's face, you know, they're going, you're, going, you're going to be thinking about the hat when you're talking to somebody. So it's incredibly important, but it doesn't mean to say that it's got to be some, you know, um, too mad or, or too over the top if it's going with, a, you know, a bold print dress, whereas you might have a simple dress and then you can go to town a bit more on the hat, so. And Peter, on the, um, when we have a, a client come in wanting or looking at something which is particularly um, challenging and it, it needs to combine um, great engineering, but it needs to also have, have great beauty into it. Um, where do you start? Do you start with the, the, the beauty and the artistry fed, or do you try and build a platform of it being um, extremely well sort of built on? I think all our items have to be functional. And so we, we, we look at both together. You know, you look at good design and good manufacturing practice at the same time, and, and try and make sure that the one doesn't fight the other that they, they, they perform the function that you're looking for without compromising either either side. You can't, you know, you can't... Um, there's no point in having a beautifully engineered thing that looks atrocious, and there's no point in having something that looks beautiful that just doesn't work. Mm. So the, the, it's always got to be a marriage of the two, of the two disciplines. 